Hey guys, I'm the Pankar back with another video and today I'm gonna show you the unboxing of Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. We all know that Max is a smartphone series that focuses on battery, so this phone also packs large 5000mAh battery. The phone also packs Snapdragon 636, 3GB of RAM, 32GB of storage and dual camera. Before I talk more about the specifications, let me show you the unboxing. Here we have a white box and inside this this is a sim ejector pin and here we have warranty paper and user guide. Now this is the phone Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1. This is the black color variant and uh, it looks almost similar to other phones that come with metallic build. I will talk about this phone later. Inside this we have just two things. This is the adapter. And this one is the micro USB cable. And that's it. Zenfone Max Pro M1 comes with 5.99 inches display with 18 to 9 aspect ratio. Front is basically dominated by display with front camera, proximity sensor, notification LED and front camera flash above the display. Volume rocker and power button are at the right and SIM card tray slot is at the left. The good thing is that it comes with triple slot offering two SIM slots and one micro SD card slot. This is an advantage over other phones that come with hybrid slot. The base side has micro USB, speaker and headphone jack. At the back it has vertical dual camera setup with LED flash below it. It also has fingerprint sensor at the center. The phone has compact metal build and looks similar to other phones of this price segment even if the phone has large battery. The weight of this phone is just 180 grams. The 5.99 inches display comes with Full HD plus resolution, so you have more reading space and better video experience. The display offers large viewing angles and looks good. This time Asus is not using Gen UI but stock Android. The phone runs on Android 8.1 Oreo with pure Android experience. Still the company is giving few social media and utility apps pre-installed. As the phone comes with a stock Android, it lacks customization options but overall experience is pretty smooth. The phone packs 1.8 GHz Octa-Core Snapdragon 636 processor with 3GB LPDDR4 RAM. Adreno 509 GPU is also there for handling graphics. This chipset is known for good performance and battery efficiency. I tested few games and tried few apps on this phone and performance was just smooth. I will talk about performance in detail in the review video, so stay tuned and subscribe our channel if you have not already subscribed. The phone comes with 32GB of storage. You can always add a micro SD card to expand the storage. The phone has dual camera setup that includes 13 megapixel sensor with f2.2 aperture and 5 megapixel secondary sensor for depth sensing. It also has 8 megapixels front camera with f2.2 aperture and front LED flash. I captured few shots and found both cameras pretty good. It also comes with beauty mode and supports portrait shots. The rear camera can record up to 4K videos and front camera can record up to full HD videos. I will post a dedicated camera review to tell you everything about its camera in coming days. The phone features NXP Smart Amplifier for better audio experience. It comes with fingerprint sensor on the back and it also supports face unlock. The phone packs large 5000mAh battery that gives it advantage over other competitors. As the phone comes with Snapdragon 636, battery life is going to be awesome. I have been using this phone for past 2 days and battery life is pretty good. Still I need time to check the exact charging time and battery backup, so I will talk about battery performance in the review video. At the time of making this video, I had no idea about the pricing, but I expect this phone to be priced in between Rs 10,000 to 13,000, so this phone will be competing with Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. If you compare these two phones just by specifications, Zenfone Max Pro M1 comes with better processor and larger battery. Camera is also similar. This is the reason I will be doing a proper comparison of Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 and Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. If you are interested in that video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and get the notification as soon as I publish that video. That's it for this video. If you have any question or you want to ask anything about Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1, you can always leave it in the comment and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Camera review and then full review of this phone will be coming very soon. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.